bring Wake back from the dark place, with the song and the clicker. But he didn't end up here now. He landed on the shore after I faced Nightingale in the overlap. Hey! Are you okay? Oh, no! It's my fault! He got out! With my face! Scratch! That night I found Wake here. He appeared because of this. The summoning. That was Wake. Scratch wasn't pretending to be Wake. They're the same person. He's here! Scratch! Watch out, Anderson! Estevez, Scratch is Wake with the dark presence inside him. He wants the clicker. Change of plan. What? I'll lure him to the cell. When we're inside, lock it. And blast it with all you got. Okay. Just give me a second. So, welcome back, guys. It is me, Vengeance Hero. And this could be the last episode in this series. Um, at the end of the last episode, I didn't continue on. Like Normally, I'll continue, and then I uh, exit the menu. And sometimes it saves, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, but this time, I don't know, I just... Had a feeling that it, something was going to happen. I knew we were getting close to the end of the game. Um, so I, I basically left it on that continue screen. And here we are. So I hit continue and apparently watch, watch, Scratch and Wake are the same person. So Wake has Scratch inside of him trying to get the clicker from us and we just jumped straight into this battle so welcome back and uh yeah we're gonna jump right back in where we paused and uh see what we can do here Whoa! Anderson, we lost power. This is terrifying. What are we doing? Turn the light. Fuck that was. Really sure what the fuck I'm doing here. Okay, well...
not actually sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Hopefully we just restart our fucking oh, too fast. Anderson, pin him down with gunfire for me to get the light on him. On it. Damn it. Anderson, we lost power. Back up. I think... Ow. Ow, bitch! Yo, I'm caught in a fucking corner. I, I can't do anything. Bro, I'm stuck. Can't actually do anything. I can't get by him. Fucked up. This is so annoying. Oh my god.
Fuck, man. Get him! Do you have the clicker? Falls feels a little less bright. Oh fuck. So sick. So good. Yeah, like a, uh, I don't know, 15 minute mark. So we are going to for sure. Your soul, awake new and whole, but now 
that's it. Weird. This fucking ends like that. Pretty sure I mentioned, reminds me of Sentenced, which is a Finnish band. Gotta check them out. You'll know. Rock and roll, baby. Tom! We need to get to our next gig. Okay, you had too much fucking you, moonshine. Lovely saga. Well, the ammo is Don't screw it up, Tom! I'd seen it all play out. Wait a minute. Like a horror movie I've been forced got no to watch. Got the nothing. dark presence held all the cards now. Some guns for me. Welcome back, Wake. You are Wake now, right? With the shadow out of you? Some good news, at least. Bad news is, I haven't seen a situation this fucked since the AWE in Eagle River. The shadow's now in Alex, and Anderson is gone. We need to figure out how to salvage this. I'll do anything it takes to fix this, Agent Estevez. I'm the reason this is all happening. It's never that simple. But I should have put you in a box and shipped you off to a containment facility the second I laid eyes on you. The only question now is... Are you able to fix this? We got I can try. Sick. Not the most Calabella encouraging Knights. answer, but we'll make okay. it work. Scratch. The dark presence inside Casey. It threw Saga into the lake. If she ends up in the dark place, she could be there forever. It took me 13 years to get out. Zane never did. Tor and Odin went in after her, right? Maybe they'll get her out. With the power of rock and roll. I saw them when I was mm, trapped there. Maybe. They performed in my musical. I'm immediately less optimistic about this. What's the situation? I've never seen an entity break a bureau containment unit like that. And now the Dark Presence is occupying Agent Casey? When it attacked him in the woods, it must have been preparing for this. And now he has the clicker. Scratch will go to Bright Falls and use the clicker to bring about the horrific ending he wrote for Return. But I can still fix this. How? Scratch must have the manuscript. If I can read the ending, I can rewrite it. I need to go after him. <sighs> well, you won't get very far without these. This plan is a real Hail Mary wake. I wish I could help, but this is all on you. I got you every kind of weapon we have available. Don't fuck it up. You sure about that? There's three guns here. I needed a car. The FBI vehicle would be at the parking lot. Got the boomstick. Okay. awake again, clear-headed for the first time in what felt like a lifetime. I was back exactly where I left. A dark forest outside Bright Falls. A gun in one hand, a flashlight in the other. Haunted by my own writing. Alice taken from me. I knew what I had to do. Stop the horror story from coming true. Stop the dark presence. Yo, chill, bro.
Alan in the woods, man. I didn't mean it so long since I've been here. <laughs> Sorry, homie. Why did I do that? The shadows were gone. You are just out of sight. Out of sight, man. Animals. Don't fucking hear them. Very helpful. No ammo. There's so fucking many of them! God damn! in. It was inside me the whole time, and then it took over. It turned me into scratch. What's going on in here? This fucking thing is going on. I'm supposed to be going. On the map. Okay. 
can buy this. Oh my god. me. I actually have no idea. I thought I was supposed to be making my way back. I have no access to, like, uh... No access to like a mine place or anything like that. So I'm supposed to be going. I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry. Fuck. have any map either, so I'm like just going by memory, which is, my memory is terrible, absolutely fucking terrible. Okay, I thought for sure we were going to have to go in here, lake house. I guess not.
it's something at the top. It's fucking glowing red. It's that has to be the view. We are here. We're back. I had to get to Bright Falls. Can I use the car? See that Alan can drive? Reverse out of drive. That's good. I brought Saga Anderson into this story to help me escape. She succeeded. It cost her everything. I'd used Alex Casey in my writing for years. The real Casey had been drawn here because of that. Now he was a victim too. Saga, Casey, Alice, all this horror originates from me. It's my fault. Scratch had to be stopped. I've driven down this road before. Been driving on it forever. had brought the dark place here, this would take me back inside. In 2010, I had dived in, a leap of faith for Alice, with no idea that the cost would be a nightmare worse than death. It had taken me 13 years to get out. Now Alice was dead because of me. I was going to make that leap again, this time knowing the cost all too well. Fuck. Another way to look at it? I had brought the dark place here with me. I never had gotten out. Maybe after this I finally could. It was a fool's hope. I had no choice. I had to do it didn't make me any less terrified. Expected. What the fuck? The stage fight scene in Departure is one up by the absolutely mind frying Dark Ocean Summoning. Holy fuck, lady. Chill the fuck out. Return shines a light on its author's brilliantly dark mind. Welcome to the Koskala Brothers Book Club. This week. 
week we will review the highly anticipated new novel by Alan Wake, Return. Return is printed on a firm, high-quality white offset, uncoated paper stock, making every page a true delight to turn in your fingertips. Alan Wake's brilliance is on full display with his choice of a hardcover book jacket made of a premium enamel stock with gloss lamination that is both tasteful and pleasant to the touch. Isn't that right? Wake set a high standard with his previous novels, but I can say without hesitation that Return contains the best and most compelling book description on a back cover that I have ever read. This book blurb is truly riveting and will keep you on the edge of your seat from start to finish. It is accompanied by a tasteful photograph of Alan Wake's home here in Bright Falls. The book weighs one pound and three ounces. Return is a true masterpiece. I'll give it a perfect score of five Alma beers out of five. How about you? What the fuck? There you have it. Alan Wake has done it again. This was the Costco Brothers Book Club. Cheers. I needed to get a copy of Return. I needed to read the ending to have a shot at changing it. I was inside Ugh. the Ratch's ending. Sold out. A perverse okay. version of reality. The townspeople brainwashed. Wait, Everyone and everything so revolved so around Return, as if it had just been published. The fuck? Not even on beat, bro. Savage. Okay. Okay. All right. We're not going that way again. I could see the realm. That's it. That's all we had to do. Room to stop this horror story. This was an obsessive, egocentric nightmare, all revolving around a vain monster of a writer and his final divine work of art. The novel returned come true. It wouldn't stop here, it would keep spreading. Fucking I had to find another way inside. Yeah, I think we're passing that one.
No, we're not. that alice, alice, alice was dead was Base? this a trap or was scratch torturing me Pardon me. But he's very pushy. Rose, right? Oh my. From the diner. How are you here? <laughs> I'm here to save you, silly. I got your instructions. I found every hidden message you left for me. Of course, in the radio, you're, uh, in the wind, okay. in the forums on my Alan Wake fan site. What? No, Rose, I haven't been leaving you any messages. I get it. Yes, Alan, only a crazy person would think you've been leaving them secret messages. <laughs> Wink. But now you need to get your butt fuck. upstairs, Alan. This shit won't write itself, no matter what William Shakespeare said. Right. God. Thank you, Rose. I'll do what I can. Upstairs. The writer's room must be in the attic. That's where the windows were. We're a fucking old man. We're in an old folks home. We're all fucked up, man. Yo! What the fuck? Come to cater, Tom. I have put everything ready for the visitors. I'll come to wash the floor of your room next. All you need is water and Vileda. Water is the oldest bulb. Water finds its way. What water brings, it takes away. It can be clean or dirty. It can keep life or drown it. Akti, I didn't expect to see you here, but it makes sense. Can you help me find my way? One last time. Mm, now there's a devil in the fish trap. Don't be spooked by it so that shit won't start beating your underpants. Okay. I'll get the door open for you, Tom. There you go. The matter is a stake. Now comes the end of the rhyme. Thank you, Ahti. Are you 
here we are. I was here. I needed to write the ending. I only had one chance to get this right. Return's ending was an eternal deer fest that would keep spreading. Given time, Scratch would plunge the world into his nightmare. I had to stop that from happening. I had to write one more chapter for Return. I needed an ending that took everything already in Return and extended it into a conclusion that would save us. Only the perfect ending would work. A perfect ending that would save us all. I was the only one who could write it. Everything depended on this. On me. Any second now, Scratch would burst through that door to stop me. Every plot thread dangled in my brain. It suddenly felt impossible. Something stirred in the room, coming to me. An idea. To fit my victims and monsters. The ending has to fit the genre if it's going to work. In a horror story, there's only victims and monsters. If there is Aero, they will ultimately pay a heavy price. I won't let the horror story take Logan and Casey. They were dragged into this. They need to survive. Non-negotiable. Not just them. We need to try to save everyone. The ending will have to be dark no matter what. The more people we save, the greater the cost. And the hero must pay the price. The scales always need to balance. Something felt different. I'd never seen myself in a vision before. But it fit. Saga and I were both at the center of this story. She was now my co-author. This was the beginning of the end. We were characters in a horror story, charging blindly towards the finale. We still didn't have everything we needed. This would not work without the clicker. That's it. That's where we're going to cut the episode off. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. I sure did. This game is incredible. Make sure to leave a like if you did. And let me know in the comment section. And hit subscribe. Turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any future episodes. As always guys. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.
There's no one left to love 